Hello, welcome back to my videos on how to make art in Sketchbook Pro. So in this video I'm going to show you how to color a drawing that you have made outside of Sketchbook Pro and that you've scanned and you have in your computer. So, But before I do that I'm going to show you something that I forgot to mention in the last video. If you go to Edit and Preferences, and if you check this box down here, cat, get out of here. If you touch this box here, Enable Rotate Canvas, then it allows you to rotate the canvas if you use the Zoom tool. And see? and it's really good for when you're drawing and when you're tracing line art so I'm gonna go and open a drawing I made outside of Sketchbook Pro Let's see it's Deku Link from Majora's Mask he's so cute but anyway when you have a black and white drawing like this that you made outside of the software I drew this by hand with a pen, with a pen you would, if you wanted to color, you can't color on the uh, the layer itself because it just won't work. See, it just doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a new layer. And I'm gonna drag this layer underneath the line art. Okay, now I'm going to select the drawing layer and I'm going to touch this circle and go to multiply blend mode. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the bottom layer and as you can see now we can start coloring. And it's not affecting the layer on top. magic of layers. Ogres have layers. <clears throat> so I'm assuming you already know how to draw so after that I'm going to show you how to shade stuff. Alright so as you can see I've colored over some of the line art, but since we're on a different layer, we can go ahead and erase the outsides without any problems, without affecting the sketch, because we're on a different layer. This isn't supposed to be like exactly right, it's just supposed to give you a basic idea how to do it. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to open up a new layer and I'm going to color his eyes. And I'm going to pr place the new layer underneath the previous color. So I'm going to color his eyes yellow. And as you can see, since this layer is underneath his skin color, his skin color will not be affected and it will only be on this layer. Okay, so let's say you wanted to shade. What you do is you go to the layer you want to shade, then you touch the circle and you go up to lock transparency and like I said in my previous video, um, locking transparency only allows you to work on what you previously worked on. So what I'm going to do for the first method of shading is cell shading. 
if I open up a new layer above all the other colors and I go to multiply blend mode and I go to this thing and I select a gray color um, and the darker the color is the darker the shadow will be so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna start shading and then as you can see there's just the highlight and the shadow <clears throat> see and uh, so I'm going to show you the next method of shading that I like to use if you go to a layer and make sure the transparency is still locked and you use the the eyedrop tool right here and you go and select a color of that layer go to this little crosshair right here and drag it down so that the color is darker and again make sure you have the transparency locked or else it'll go all over the place now I can shade using the airbrush tool. It gives it a nice smooth look if you just don't like the two values. All right. So then I can use the, the dropping tool and select the original color and I can go back in and make it blend really nicely. Yep. I'm assuming you already know how to shade and how to draw. Okay, so I'm going to select the base color again. And I'm going to redraw it. So now I'm going to use a texture brush. And uh, there's a lot of different brushes you can get online for free and I'll probably have a link to these brushes in the description. You can go in and you can use texture to shade. This is really useful. And just like before, I'm going to keep going back in and oopsie daisy, I didn't mean to do that. And uh, just keep going back in just like that okay so that's basically how you color a drawing you made previously in sketchbook pro in the next video I will be showing you how to make a drawing from scratch and color it and everything so I'll see you next time bye